Good afternoon, it's Scott. And Bart. Of the Scotch Test Dummies. Test Dummies, Test Dummies. I'm the one that says Taste Dummies, Scotch Test Dummies. We're getting there. Yes, Green Label, Bruno, Green uh, Label. Johnny Walker Green Label. Uh, if you're not familiar, Johnny Walker's a blended scotches. Um, we'll start with, the, there's Red Label, which is a 10-year blend. Like gasoline to me. Black, 12-year. I love the black and the double. Uh, that's what I started with, Johnny Walker Black. Mm -hmm. uh, moving up to Green Label, which is a 15-year blend. Actually, and it's a single malt. Doesn't it have a little um, talisker in it? Or it it's does not have, yeah. Single malt. It's yes. a blended malt. It's a it's a blended yeah. single malt. Um, well, it's blended. Or how malt. do they? How do they, blended a blended malt, malt whiskey? Right. That's what it is. Um, moving on from the green label, seventeen year is your uh, gold label, which, which is they're platinum. getting rid of, right? Yeah. Aren't, they're getting rid. Aren't they changing the flavor of it too, or is it just? It is two long? different flavors, I think. Now, from what they're and what they're doing is they're getting away from the age statements. So the platinum is supposed to re, right. uh, replace the the gold label. Excellent. And, and then, then the 21 year blue label. Yes. There's nothing after the blue, right? There's no like rainbow. There is a higher dollar. Uh, there's, um, I'm not even sure which one is which, but there's one that's, there's another one that's like $500 a bottle and then one that's like $2,500 a bottle. And there's probably other ones on that that the hmm, common, sure, limited. common folk don't even know about. We're common. Yes. Very pedestrian. Maybe someday we'll get some of the Maybe. stuff we don't even know about. You never know. I'm sure it's out there. It's probably good, uh, too. I'm sure it is. Hey, real quick, we have uh, we share with some other fellows a company car on occasion. In the company car, there is like a, a, a door handle that has a little bit of a well in it. And Well, our, all cars have a not door all. handle. Some of them don't have a little armrest. It's like an armrest that That's also true. has a little area where you can pull the door <clears> closed. Guys will throw their spare change in there. I don't know. They're going through the McDonald's or something, whatever. And we have a theory. My theory is I don't ever put my money in there. My money goes in my pocket. So I don't ever well, take any do. money out of you there. You might put money in there, but so. you expect it to still be there when you get back in the car. I don't put money in there. Um, and I don't take money out. I believe that would be thievery. However, someone else used it like his own personal piggy bank. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. What, but he wanted to <clears throat> defend that quickly. I know we're headed towards yes, Scott. Yes. Yes. Uh, let's okay. let's back up. Company car. Several people use it. If you, if I put change in the door, I fully expect that the next time I use that car, the change may or may not be there. But what if it's totally gone? Wouldn't that, and you if I it? if I wanted to keep the change, I would put it in my pocket or I would pick it up when I get out of the car. What if I'm in the car, I never <clears throat> put my change in there, but I just use it because the, everybody's a sucker and I use their money. That's what it's for. People leave it in there. Anybody that leaves the change in the door expects other people. It's like when you so. go, Wouldn't you be upset? when you're in a, when you're in a store buying something and they've got the little change jar right there on the counter sure. in case you're short five or six cents, a you penny. use it. That's not, yeah. you're not, it's not a larceny. Penny. You're no. not stealing. But if you were short a buck and a quarter <clears throat> and you emptied that thing out like, hello, I'm yeah, short a dollar and a quarter okay. and I'm then, emptying yeah. the little help penny thing to make it. Yeah. But. Uh, just because uh, it's in the door. Now, what Bart's not telling you yeah. is that one day he was at a uh, convenience store here yes, in town. Very good convenience store. <clears throat> sees a little kid. A lad. On his bicycle and gave the kid. Mm, the kid was wanting to get something. I saw him like looking at a pop and he didn't have the, I think he. So I did, did you take some money out of your wallet and give it to him? He didn't need a whole dollar. He just needed like 32 cents. So you took change out of the door. I donated to a young lad. So it was, I don't know, he wanted an ice cream. It was hot. And yes, I took money from the door, but that was to give to a child. It was not for me. But I told him that he... A modern day Robin Hood. Yes. It was like a Robin Hood maneuver yes. I did because I do, I defend that you, you should not take money out of the door unless you put money in. And I don't like that whole system. But then I gave it to a child. Thief. Robin Hood. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What is green supposed to do? Um, Ooh. Hmm. Now, I've had green in the past. It's, it's probably one of my favorites of, uh, of blendeds. Hmm. Um, and you'll get a little bit of peat with it. Now, and there's, it's blended with some talisker. Is that right? 
Yeah. Um, I love Tyler's for single malt. Actually, it has. It doesn't give the uh, exact formula of what they use, but a box. When you buy a green label, it comes in a box, mm -hmm. and on the side of the box, it actually lists that uh, Talisker is in there, Crag and Moore. Mm. I love Crag um, and Moore. It's like I want to say Lagavulin, maybe. We got to do Crag and Moore sometime. That's like my sweet, sweet. Yes, Crag and Moore is one of the better nectar of the uh, gods. Single malt for sure. Mm, okay, mm. I can't really pick up a distinct nose to give you. Again, there should be some, um, with the Johnny Walker blends, um, they say there's some chocolate. I, I've i gotten, I think, a chocolate or a coffee taste with Dalmores in the past. Right. Um, and um, Glen Gary Oach. Is that how you say it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> hmm. I'm actually getting some... A nuttiness, I do. I think I pick up a little bit of the hint of like a cocoa. It's a little bit uh, harsher on the uh, alcohol taste for me. I mean, of course, the uh, the blue is extremely smooth. If you haven't seen our review on that, you'll see one on the blue soon. Um, I get a little bit more of the tingle of the alcohol. There's not, uh, I don't get any smoke really. Just a, a very tad, hmm. very tad, very small taste. Definitely get um, a nuttier flavor for me. And again, there's a little bit, just for me, a little bit of the, a little bit of the medicinal alcohol to it as well. Mm, no, hmm? no. I don't think so. On what are that. some of the official the, notes? What are the official notes? Um, let's see. There should be notes of mochaccino, espresso coffee, wood smoke, and a fireplace. All right. I've never For smelling smelling snow, notes. Yeah, I get a bit of that. On the palate should be um, crisp cereals, coffee beans, chocolate, and a touch of walnut. All right. I'm getting a little nut. Yeah. I would agree. Unfortunately, that's all I'm picking up out of this. I'm not getting the, uh, the chocolate, really. I mean, I, just, I don't get the coffee or the espresso. Maybe a little bit of the cocoa feel, but I'm not getting any, any coffee. It's, it's, it's kind of a darker... Um, taste it's not fruity mm -hmm. for me it just sits there a bit it's not transitioning into anything mm -mm. as well no it's one taste mm. are you meaning to lean in on me i'm leaning in you're it's like in my circle <laughs> am i on him hello <laughs> sorry my cousin. I'm, I'm coming in closer. I don't know why. I thought maybe I could get closer to the flavor of the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm sorry. I can't give you much more than that. I get a, the nutty flavor. It's not transitioning through a lot of different flavors for me, but it's solid. It's a little bit medicinal to me. Just a bit. I know you're not getting that. No, I don't think medicinal at all with it. It's um, To me, it's definitely smoother uh, than Black Label. Um, it's not as smooth as Blue Label. <laughs> and hey, back off! You're getting too close to me. Oh, <laughs> all right. I deserve this. I apologize. All right, Salonja, Salonja, dummies, dummies. <laughs> See you guys later. <laughs>